Hello and welcome back to another episode of Fallen Front. Oh, <laughs> Fallen Frontiers. <laughs> For the Frontiers. Um. So, ooh, uh, ships. I don't know what, what should the, stop doing that game. Bloody hell! <laughs> the game is loading something. I'm not quite sure what it's doing, but it's making everything so incredibly slow. Anyways, what did we do last episode? Last episode, we managed to get ourselves a little bit further ahead with uh, upgrading the town. Oh, ship! Stop moving! Stop moving! Somebody's got foot wound. And we've gotten close. We've got 20 large houses. We need five more. <clears throat> and then we have this range of requirements done. And then we'll just have to focus only on the cost. We are halfway to the uh, 5,000 ingots. Um, so that we should, That's pretty good. We need to get a little bit more money. Village is being raided again. Oh, bloody hell. Seriously? Uh, okay, well, fine. Let's just, let's just ring the bell. We got 152 raiders. <laughs> what? Uh, run, people! Run! Look at these guys. They're all just standing over here. Ah, uh, the problem is that is my weakest point. This is the weakest point of the village. I only have these um, towers here, and the people that are working the to those towers don't have <laughs> don't have anybody to help them. So let me just go hire some more people, and then we're gonna move. Oh. Uh, you have 12 months left to pay 1,200 to the invaders or they will attack. Eh, fuck them. So that was, that was nasty. I, I'm not going to pay them money. I'm not going to pay them money. They can just go die. <laughs> Let's move some of my troops over there. So they can help with the, uh, with the attack. So you guys, uh, move your, your troops over to here. You guys move over to here as well and then I think I'm going to a villager has died I don't care I was gonna move these guys out to here because I'm being attacked over here as well boom so they're gonna be coming from yeah both of these directions that's a bit of an annoyance uh people over here are dying fast so I need my troops to kind of stand here in the hopes that they can actually survive the onslaught of this many <laughs> many raiders. The raiders over here are trying to break into the walls. Alright guys, you're getting attacked. Fight! Fight! I want to slow down a bit so I can actually see what's going on. Oh, my, my soldiers got, got murdered! This is not good. Oh, this is not good. See if we can get past this section. I'm not quite sure if this is good or bad. It looks pretty bad. Four villagers have died. The building has been destroyed. Well, that's not good. My troops over here are fighting. They're doing their best, but... I don't think it's gotta be enough. <laughs> That's a lot of raiders. That's a lot of raiders. Our village is under attack! Uh, we were doing such a great job. We'll just check the festering moons. That makes sense. Let's also put something in here, shall we? Make sure that we got enough uh, people mounting the towers. Come on. Come on, give me, the, give me the tower, give me the tower. Thank you, come on. I need everybody, I need everybody to fight. Good, well they are doing quite a lot of damage. I'm gonna move my troops from over here. Move flag, I'm gonna move them over to there. So they can also help with the attack. I lost some buildings over there. These guys are still trying to get in. They probably will succeed. It's gonna take them a while though. And I'm gonna move you guys over to there. So you guys can help with the defense. Start removing these guys. Where's, why there's so much iron here? Where is iron coming from? <laughs> I don't know where the iron is coming from. Who dropped all that iron? It's just a little bit mad. All right, let's see. let's see if we have any more attacks coming somewhere else. I don't see anything from this side. So I think we're this side, we're okay. We're okay on this side. And they're still trying to break through the walls, but my troops are taking them out. Look at this. Oh. Game is trying to save. 
Just kill them all. Thank you. Let's move the flag over to there. All right, that guy's dead. Oh. Uh, all right, well, there we go. We're back again. All right, let's just move this flag as well. Uh, a villager has died. Well, that's that's too bad. That's, that's really sad. Let's move you over to there. So we can get those... Why, why are these troops moving? Come on. Move your asses over there. Are you guys not doing anything? Why aren't you attacking? Fight! Come on. Just go and fight. There we go. They're finally doing something. Oh. I think this, this game is... Oh, they're running away. What happened? Saving game. Ah, oh, that's what happened. They're trying to, it's trying to save. It's trying to save the game. The problem is, of course, that it's really bad at saving games. <laughs> These guys are still busy, though. They're still going at it. Oh, they, man they managed to get a hole. Two holes. And they're now attacking my... I need to move the flag inside here. Go kill those guys. I'm not quite sure what my troops are doing, but we have, we have, oh ships. <laughs> we have some people over here. Return to the, return to the barracks. Okay, I need to, I need to get rid of the flag. Um, I need them to return to the barracks. Return to barracks, come on, go, 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 go. Because the barracks are a little bit more important. They, these guys are kind of doing a good job, right? Yeah, they're doing a really good job. Trouble is, they can't. They don't seem to want to kill these guys. <coughs> uh, they got. I got a whole bunch of villagers who do nothing. So, uh, I'm not quite sure where my troops are. What are, what are you doing here? What are you doing? Oh, you're getting attacked. Somebody's attacking this large house over here. I need my troops to... Oh, are they running away now? No, they're still not running away. Still not. Can, can you guys co come over here and uh, just help with that? I need you guys to actually run away. Because you don't have much health. <laughs> Uh, don't take the road, just go right to the... Okay, bloody hell. We lost the market. The market has been destroyed. But I'm trying to save the barracks now. Because this is this is a this is a pretty bad situation. Uh, can you can you guys go into the barracks? Is that something you guys can do? I'm not entirely sure what's going on over here now. My villagers are coming here to repair the the building. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> this is not smart, guys. All right, let's fight, 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 fight. I got another guy come in with full health. Perfect. He just came back from the hospital, I think. I think my trooper over here is not going to make it, though. Oh, they saved the barracks. They saved the barracks. Uh, I think the, tr the the soldiers... Yep, they're running away. They're running away. My village is no longer under, under attack. They did destroy a bunch of stuff, though. They did get pretty far. And I do have a number of broken, destroyed buildings. But we can always rebuild those. Those are not very expensive to rebuild. Okay, that might be. <laughs> they did build... The re they did destroy my glassmaker and... Uh, both my glassmakers, and of course, they destroyed my storehouse over here. But I don't think they destroyed very many important buildings. So I still have my blacksmith forge, and I still have my foundry. Tower over here is gone, though. It's a bit of a pain. Hmm. Well, for the rest, everything else seemed to have gone quite well. Oh, that might explain something. They had a, a siege. They had a siege tool, a siege uh, weapon. <laughs> Look at this massive spike in the front. Can you guys n stop doing that? Can you can you just just kill him? Thank you. Can you kill this guy? <laughs> Th 
Did he just drive over you? There we go. All right, we got that killed. Where are you going? You just, just go back inside. All right, so we got the attack. We uh, we got rid of the, uh, the, the the raiders. I'm not quite sure if they were raiders. I'm not quite sure what the hell they were. That was a lot, a lot of, uh, of, of soldiers, of bandits. That was, that was a massive group of bandits. And uh, we did lose a couple of people. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna remove some people here. Just making sure that we don't have too many. Like that. And then we gotta go rebuild everything. So, <laughs> who died over here? Somebody died, somebody died over here. Alright, let's just, let's just rebuild the storehouse over here. That village has been cured. I don't know how much we lost. Right, I don't know how much we lost. Yet. We lost a hunter. We lost a hunter over here as well. We did lose a, like 10 people. I think 10 people died. But overall, most of this wall has remained. I'm just going to go and set these guys to return to barracks, please. Return to barracks. And heal up. And, and get some better, better weapons. Ah, uh, ships. All right, well, let's just rebuild everything. Let's make sure that we can. The village is already uh, hard at work repairing everything. It's great. Good job, guys. Now, I just need to get this rebuilt. You rebuilt. You rebuilt. And, of course, the tower in here who did... They did their job really well. Right, rebuild you and rebuild that. Nice. All right. For the rest, I think we did okay. I think we did okay. We did lose somebody over here. <clears throat> the rest, I think we did pretty good. The war on the rats is still ongoing, though. And uh, I think we're losing that war. <laughs> the rat war is impossible to win. I don't think we can ever win the rat war. Look how many rats there are. It's just everywhere. They're just everywhere. They're just... It's never ending, the rats. I, I don't know. Uh, two raiders are attacking villagers. Three villagers are attacking raiders. 98 raiders have been killed. That's good. 98 raiders have been killed. Bloody hell. That's quite a lot. Let's look at the rest of the damage. So we, we did get a couple of buildings destroyed. Yeah, we rebuilt that. We rebuilt that. All of that's being rebuilt. Okay, except for over here, of course, where we didn't select these bits of wall to rebuild yet. So we gotta do that one then. Rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. Perfect. To be honest, those raiders are kind of stupid. <laughs> oh, did we lose the towers? We did. Ah, oh, they managed to get inside. That's what happened. But I'm pretty sure those towers did their work. They did their work perfectly fine. I'm thinking that maybe if we can get a road that goes all the way through here, we should be able to put an additional two towers here. My village was raided. What did they grab? Eight iron, two bows, and two weapons. <laughs> they killed 10 villagers, destroyed 16 buildings. Uh, but they lost 95 uh, raiders, and the raid size was 152. It's quite uh, quite considerable. But, to be honest, I think the food situation might be a little bit more precarious than the, um, than the uh, raiding business. Uh, we don't have anything in here, do we? No. So leave that for now. We need to figure out a way to improve our food situation. So I'm thinking we probably need more fields out here. So right now the cows that are like this one over here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moo to you too. All right, those cows are. Yeah, they are sitting over there. So we have some space over here on this side to put some fields down. Let's go do that. So food production. Let's put some fields down, because this game is all about food production. It's not about battling raiders. It's all about food. Let's put another field over here. Nice big one. No, that's that's the maximum size. So let's put it like that then. Excellent, excellent. 
All right. So that's all good. So we don't have to worry about uh, those fields for now. All right, we'll just have to wait until the farmers come here and actually build out those fields out. We only have two stone left. What? <laughs> so can we can we can we select some stone? Let's see. Um, let's 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 select some of these these stones over here. All right, that should be good. We also get rid of this. Why is this here? Okay, that, there we go. That's better. So we also have a lot of stone up here that we can select and then we can harvest. Perfect. We'll have to get this. Uh, oh, somebody died over here on the road. Somebody died on the road. Oh, bloody hell. Can you stop saving? <laughs> uh, okay, so somebody died on the road here. So this person has a sword. You see that? That person actually has a sword. Deceased villager. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's one of my villagers. She had a sword. She was fighting, I think, I guess. I'm not quite sure. All right, well, um, since we have so many cows, how many cows do we have in here? We have 10 out of 10 population. Let's go and cull a couple of cows for them, like so. And let's do that on this side as well. We have a whole bunch of cows over on this side. We got 10 cows as well here. Let's go and slaughter some of these for those. And then we had another, uh, yeah, this one over here. Let's go slaughter four of you guys. Four, confirm, thank you. And uh, let's immediately start the process of building another additional, um, yeah, here we go, this one. So we need to transfer some of the cows from these other, um, yeah, we need to transfer some cows from here to the new barn. So let's transfer, from the, this, let's just transfer four. Let's transfer three. Select a barn for your cows. Yes, I'll do that. So this barn. And then confirm. Perfect. All right. So those, those cows will eventually move over there. Let's get some more cows. From this barn. Let's transfer. Wait, was it? Select the maximum herd size of this building. No, 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 no. Let's, just, let's transfer um, an additional three cows from here. And let's select the barn. Yep, and that's the one. Confirm. They have a. Uh, a section over here where they have to feed. I'm not entirely sure that's a good idea. You see, you know what? It's, it's, it doesn't, it's not as bad as it looks, right? Okay, this, this looks pretty bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a lot of bushes, but we can get rid of those. All right, so the cow's uh, lack of food, um, yeah, that will have to be resolved some other time. We'll, we'll get that some other time. So we'll just wait until that's that's resolved. And we got some fertilizer here. I don't want to worry about that for now. All right, so everything else seems to be okay. I'm uh, guessing we are... Oh, what do we have? Nope, we don't have anybody in here. Firewood splitter. And let's put another person in there. We need some more firewood. We only have 64 at the moment. Winter is only starting and we only have 64 firewood. That's not good. It's not good at all. <clears throat> the main issue is, of course, stone. That seems to be coming in quite rapidly. The building seems to be going up. Everything seems to be getting repaired. It's good. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's just speed up to one speed. Perfect. Let's get everything built, people. <laughs> oh no, it's an invasion of deer. Why? 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 Go away. Go away. Bloody wildlife. Constantly eating all my food. I only have five months of food. I think it's enough food to survive the winter, but eh. I would like to have more. As a matter of fact, I want to build an additional barn. Because we have a barn here over here. If we can build another one. That would be nice. Food production. Let's see. Where are you? Preservist? No. This is the cheese maker? No. Uh, bakery? No. Barn. Here we go. We need another barn. We can put another barn out there. I don't want to. Because it always gets destroyed. 
And I can put another barn over here on this side. I need to maybe move this field out of the way. Continue this road over up to out here. Maybe out this way and then out there. And put some more towers over there. I don't know. I'm not quite sure yet. But maybe we should put a barn... Ah, the thing is that this, this is a very negative... Uh, yeah, it doesn't give us much bonus. So let's see. Let's, let's look for a nice... But, I mean, I could put it in the middle of the village, but it's been <laughs> kind of counterproductive to what we're trying to accomplish. I guess I'm just going to have to put it here. This is, let's just turn it around. Let's put this barn here. We're going to be running out of space in the middle of the village anyway pretty soon. So we're going to have to start moving out. I mean, we do have some space here, but this is currently being uh, run off, yeah, by the uh, arborist. Uh, I'm not quite sure where it is this, this. This is a hunter lodge. Are you actually hunting animals? I'm not quite sure. Tannery. Hmm. All right. Now, um, the last episode we had a little bit of an issue with some of my uh, foundry workers and so on. So, like a little bit of this, 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 this. So we had, of course, the blacksmith forge. They seem to be doing some work now. Finally, they have two heavy tools and two weapons. And if you look at the travel time, so the traveling, they seem to be doing a lot of traveling to and from their home. Uh, so you have one of this guy. This guy over here works here. You see him? So he's getting going to get food and everything else, and then maybe he'll come back on, and then he'll have like one hour of time to actually do anything. So that's the main issue. The main issue, of course, is that people seem to be living too far away from their work. This is a bad thing. It's a really bad thing. Let's look at the um, desirability of the region. You can see that these buildings over here are incredibly red. <laughs> that is not someplace you want to live. Right? That's like radioactive red. That's like Chernobyl red. You know? Or or this for instance. This is also Chernobyl red. Look at that. That's, a, that's just nasty. This is the nastiest place you can be. And particularly the barn is the center of all of it, right? The barn is the center of all of it. The brewery is okay, but the center is the barn. The barn is causing most of the red. So if we look over here, for instance, look at that red, look at that red. So we have a barn over here, and we have another barn over there. They're both centers of the negative. People don't like cows at all. So I might need to move the barns out to be able to get any chance of uh, of improving the desirability of the locations so right right now this is a pretty good desirability right so then we have nice dark orange i mean uh, purple and stuff and blues over here which is great and we have the dark reds uh, over here now the dark red in this case is because the brickyard that thing is is nasty it just pumps out poison people don't want to live next to poison that's just uh, they don't want to do that <laughs> it's as simple as that can we build a road here? Is that something we can do? Yes, we can. I'm going to put a little bit of a road that goes all the way around into there. And then maybe... Can I put a house in there? Is that going to work? No, it's not going to work. Oh, press the wrong button. Go away! Go away! No. <laughs> he said go away! Thank you. The game does respond really slowly sometimes. But I might be able to put something else in there. Let's go look at some decorations. So I'm still trying to improve the situation for most of the people in here. Uh, a shrine? We can build a shrine. Can we build a shrine? No, it's, it's too big. It's too big. We only have space for two by two. So we can put maybe a park. Yeah, medium garden. Let's put another medium garden yeah, right there. And that's it. That's it. Two medium gardens. It's going to improve the desirability of this location massively. And it's going to cause a whole bunch of these buildings to go from 43% um, of desirability to 50% desirability, which is great. Of course, we need it higher than that, but that's okay. All right, so what can we do to improve the movement speed of my people? Well, we can upgrade the roads. That's number one, of course. That's what we're doing. So, if we can upgrade you, let's upgrade you, let's upgrade you, and you, of course, boom, 
Now this road ends here. It's a bit of a pain. I wish I had actually made that one straight road to another gate. That would have been better. If I can move this gate over to there, it would have been a better situation. But I didn't think that far ahead, so <laughs> I didn't do that. Uh, I also want a road that goes from there all the way down through here. Because roads do improve the speed at which people move. Maximum over maximum size. All right, let's move you to there. And then let's just continue you. Oh. All right, we'll just wait till that's built. I'm thinking they're just, they don't want to do that kind of stuff anymore. <laughs> oh, ah, another save. Why? Saving so much. All right, well, that's fine. All right, for the rest, I think we just need to wait until we have a little bit more food come in. Uh, the the farmers and stuff like are working on the fields. Let's look at let's look at the population thing. So we have 108 farmers at the moment. The most the biggest source of my uh, employment in this case. They're, they are the ones that are <laughs> heavily employed. A whole bunch of farmers. And I'm waiting for these new fields to come into effect, so that we can start making a little bit more food. Um, so let's, let's look at our food. We have 1,534 protein, 519 grains. We have 1,670 cheeses. Fruits, yeah, we don't have many fruits. So villagers stick with worms, that's a bit of an issue. So I think one of the things that we should do is improve our fruit situation. So I want to have more fruit. Because I think that fruit will also reduce the number of um, sick in my village. Mostly from scurvy. So <laughs> anybody suffering from scurvy, uh, that will of course have to end. Um, I don't want to move, I don't want to put some trees here. Because I want to improve this area and turn that into the, into another, uh, uh, some more housing and stuff. So I don't want to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and build something out here. Food production. So I want I want some more fruit. So let's see, barn? No, arborist building. This is what I want. I want the arborist building. So this is a long rectangular building. Uh, so let's see if we can't move. Why? Why do you keep pressing the wrong button? Bloody hell! All right, so I want it this building to be situated not in the corner there, but I want it like maybe here. Let's look at the fertility, shall we? <clears throat> so this little p p patch of ground here is perfect for fertility. That's also pretty good. So we have a nice, very fertile area there, but we, that's being used by the farmers at the moment. So everything else, yeah, I guess we should we should put something. We can put an arborist over there, but it's pretty far away. I don't want the arborist to have to move too far. A lot of the good soil and stuff that is currently being held ransom by buildings, like the wagon shop and so on. So that's a bit of a pain. But this area here, right by the by the, uh, by the the wall, seems to be perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the arborist. Yes, I'm going to put you right there, like that. And then, once you're built, we will move the trees, the, uh, the, the, the apple trees and so on, all over, over here. So we'll build them. We we'll plant them all along the wall, and that should uh, that should help with uh, with with that. All right. So somebody with typhoid. That's a bit of a shame. Nothing I can do about typhoid. All right. Let's go over. Let's go over here. So my food production has dropped from 12 down to four months of food, um, and I'm not entirely sure why might be because yeah i'm not quite sure <laughs> all right we need to also improve our uh food distribution so we do have um we do have bread coming in see all the fruit are already gone all the fruit are all gone there's no more fruit so i want to improve that that needs to be improved and my um gatherers don't seem to actually do much in the food production situation so what do you have for me? Let's see, what do you have? You have 
Crude weapons, coal, iron ore, stone, weapons, tools. I already have a whole bunch of weapons, so I don't need that. I already have more than enough weapons. I don't have any gold, so I can't sell you that. I don't want to sell you any pots. I don't want to sell you any clothing. So I don't have anything to sell you at the moment. It's a bit of a pain. It's too bad. All right, we got a building on fire. It's, a, it's not good. Um, and the wall is also on fire. It's the walls on fire. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good at all. Everybody, grab a bucket. Somebody with a bucket? Nobody with a bucket? Anybody with a bucket? Is anybody coming with a bucket? I need to know if this is actually going to be saved. Because it, if, it, if it's not, then we might have a little bit of an issue. Yeah, like that. Okay. Oh, okay. they managed to save this building, but this building got caught in fire. Uh, are you gonna? You guys gonna save this building too? No, no. Because if you leave it to burn, it's gonna burn down the entire neighborhood. Billy's on fire. Yeah, I can see that. Village has been cured. Oh, that's good. Trick it stricken with typhoid. Well, that's a bit of a pain. Uh, okay, they're coming. They're coming with with buckets of water now. Finally, people are actually in the flames now. They're actually standing in the flames. And this building is going to catch fire in a second, too. It's a homestead. Oh, hey, they made it. They made it. One villager is sick. Well, that's, a, that's, that's normal, isn't it? One out of one villager is sick. <laughs> uh, okay, that's good. Everything seems to be okay. So I can... Everything seems to be good. I think we are we are good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm gonna apply some compost. I need to improve. They need to improve the, uh, the fertility of these regions here. It's gonna get, add some more fert compost to you and you and you. So you seem to be kind of dirty. Zero law uh, rocks. Lots of weed. Fertility is pretty good. I'm gonna get a little bit of yield. Um, not that much, but it's okay. I think. Wait. Let's 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 look at this. Let's look at this. So we do have a bunch of stuff in here. We have a whole bunch of flax. So we should be able to improve our uh, cloth making. We have a whole bunch of grain, which is good. I like that. Uh, we have zero fruits and vegetables. That's a bit of a pain. I need to improve that. So I need to get, I need to focus more on preservation, preservation and getting some more fruits and vegetables. A villager has died. Well, that's great. Um, water, we have 6,000. Buckets of water. That's, uh, that's a lot. We don't have any medicinal roots. I think that's because they've all been processed into medicine. So we have eight medicine at the moment, which is good. We got some pots. We have some furniture. We have one candle. <laughs> we have one candle. Okay. Uh, we don't have plate mail armor yet because we haven't figured out how to do that yet. But that will come eventually. Two villagers have died. Two villagers are sick. Traveling merchant has arrived. Let's go talk to him. I still need more money, right? I need more money. So what do you have? Traveler 2? You want to buy brick for nine a piece. That's, uh, that's nice. I'm gonna go sell these to him. So now he has 86 of those. He wants to sell me back those for nine again. <laughs> I don't want to buy them. Uh, he wants to buy some flour. I don't want to do that. I want to instead use that flour for other things. So let's see, what else do you have? You have a bunch of shoes. I do want to buy some of your shoes. I, I, wanna, I don't want to buy any cheese. I don't want to buy any cows. I don't want to buy any stone. I do want to buy stone, but I don't want to pay for that kind of stuff. So let's buy some shoes instead. So let's buy, let's buy 20, uh, 30, 40, 30, 30 shoes. Let's buy 30 shoes. Buy and transfer, boom, excellent. So that's all good. So we'll get some shoes back into the system. And I guess we could transfer a little bit of... No, I don't want to do that. Um, what else? I'm, I'm going to leave it there. Because I, I don't have the resources yet to just keep on going with that. So somebody over here seems to be dead. All right, let's just replace you with somebody new. I mean, this is a company, right? So if you, if you don't show up to work, I'm going to replace you. <laughs> All right, so what do you have? You are making 10 bucks, 10 gold coins a month it's quite nice 
but of course that is not going to improve because these buildings over here are very low desirability at the moment people don't want to work here they don't want to do that let's look at this desirability desirability yeah, is pretty low here we can improve that it's 21 percent 23 percent and so on so if we want to improve that we'll need to do that with some decorations let's put a little medium garden over here Look at that. Immediately, instantly, plus 3% desirability improvement. It's quite good. Uh, let's put a medium garden there. Let's put a medium garden he, um, he, uh, ships here. <laughs> let's put a medium garden there. Uh, we already have a statue there. So we could... No, 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 no. Just stop doing that game. And we can improve it by 4% if we put it right there. I want these things to turn into homesteads. Homesteads pay more money. It's good. All right, so then we also have... Um, we can put a flag somewhere over here. Can we put a flag here? It's going to improve the desirability by 1%. Flags don't do much for people. That's 2%, 1%. That's not much. That's not much. I mean, let's not put a flag here, okay? <laughs> uh, this is a large park. Um, large parks are very desirable. They do a lot of, uh, they have a wide reach, right? But they're also very, very, yeah, very big. So I would like to put a large park like the one you already have over here in the middle of the village again, but I don't want, I don't have the space. I don't have the space. So let's just focus on something a bit smaller. Let's see. Um, so we do have you. Let's see if we can turn you around a little bit. It's going to increase the desirability by a little bit. Let's just put that there. Let's put that there. All right. So I just want to improve this area here a little bit. Get some more money coming in. Into this little... Uh, what are you? You're a fletching building? Oh, you, you want to be upgraded? What are you going to do then? Additional workers. Additional item recipes. Ooh. That'll be nice. What, can, what else can we do? And item speed production. All right, well, that's uh, it's gonna cost me 30 wood and planks and 40 bricks. Well, I'm gonna upgrade you anyway. Why not? Let's look at this uh, trader over here. Trader number two, you came in and you have herbs. Okay, that's, that's not something to boast about. You also have a whole bunch of fat, some willow. I already have a whole bunch of willow, so that's all good. Uh, we're already making baskets galore, so we don't need to worry about that. We already have... Well, we, I would like to buy the, the meat, but I don't really see a point. Um, I don't want to sell you my herbs. I also don't want to buy them. I already have enough. I don't want to sell you my weapons. I don't have anything else to sell you. Okay, that's that's too bad. It's too bad. Okay, well, that's just, that's just a shame. It's a shame. Maybe we can look at trade number one. Do you have anything to sell you? No, we don't. We do have a whole bunch of hides, but you don't want to buy those, do you? Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's leave it as is. Let's leave it. Let's leave it, leave it, leave it. We'll wait until we get some new villagers, I mean, new traders coming in and more stuff to sell. Village has been cured. Well, that's great. What? What's this, this little symbol here all of a sudden? 225 crops lost to heat stress. Oh, that's a shame. Is it because we put you in the afternoon? <laughs> okay, well, that's uh, that's something we have to worry about some other time. I need more food. So, uh, we need to focus on a little bit more food production. We do have a whole bunch of fruit and vegetables over here. So, if we have a... What are you? You are a firewood splitter. I'm looking for a... This is this is some... What's this? What are you? You're a hunter cabin. All right, I'm going to put... For food production, I'm going to put another uh, forager shack over here. We'll build a road out this way so that we can we can actually have this forager shack sitting here. There. Right now, the forager shacks that I have are just too far away to actually benefit us, the village, that much. But that'll be food coming in. It's nice. Alright, the arborist over here is not yet done. We need a bit more planks and a bit more clay. We'll get that eventually. Oh, another merchant has arrived? What do you want? 
Oh, wait, what do you have to sell? Uh, you want to buy my... Um, yeah, I'll sell you that. I'll sell you that. Okay, we got 2,446 coin. We are already at 3,000 gold coins, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, what do you have to sell? You sell flour. I have tons of flour. I'm going to have to do something with that. I also have a whole bunch of grain. I don't want to buy your grain. You do have a ton of pottery, but so do I. So I don't need to do that. I have clothes. Yeah, we don't. You don't have anything I want to buy. And neither do you, except for the crude weapons. But the crude weapons I don't need. Crude weapons are useless. What, what's that with that noise? Go away with that noise. Alright, so since we have so much flour... Villagers died. Okay, that's, that's too bad. So we, since we have so much flour, we have 2,401 flour. I suggest we build some more bakeries. So let's go ahead and put down another bakery. So, where are you? This is a cheese maker. This is a preserver preservist building. All right, this is a bakery. Thank good. So, the bakery improves the desirability of the region by actually giving us food. So, if you put a villager, a, ba a bakery right there, for instance, that will improve the desirability there. We can also put a bakery over on this side, somewhere over here. Like right next to this building. That will desi increase the desirability over here as well. Do that. Bakeries are good. It's just the smell of, of bread that just, just, just makes people happy. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Can we can we put a bakery over here? Yes, let's put a bakery over here. Boom. I don't think we can fit a bakery in here somewhere. Would like to? Oh, actually, it does. It does fit in here. Oh, I can I can already smell the bread. Let's put a bakery there. That will improve the desirability of this entire region. Beautiful. Uh, we already have a bunch of bakeries in here, so we don't have to worry about that. Where's the bakery, actually, by the way? Didn't we not have a bakery here? We did. I'm pretty sure we had a bakery somewhere. I'm going to put a bakery here, though. Yeah, let's put a bakery there. It's going to improve the desirability of this entire region. Make everybody happy. I can put another bakery over here as well if I wanted to. Hmm. Now, we'll just wait, wait until these bakeries are built. They, they take a, a bunch of stone. So, we do have stone enough to build three of these. So, uh, we'll just let them build. Build that. Look at that. They want it so badly, they've already started with this one. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Crops ready for the assignment? Perfect. So what do you have? This is the field over here. So let's look at this field. So this field has um, a soil mixture that is a lot, quite more towards the clay than to the sand. So if we were to add more sand, we might get... Well, there's no crops left anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Right? So if we have a crop that's good for clay... Um, let's just look at this. So we can we can add a crop here. So let's see where is where it depends on the fertility. Fertility dependence is six out of ten. So it, it really requires the, the the crop to be, I mean the ground to be good. Impact of fertility negative two percent. Fertility dependence six out of ten. Carrots. Trying to find a crop that is good for this region and gives us a whole bunch of food. I think the best that we can do is more grain. Some more typhoid. Ah, uh, ships. I'm just going to put more grain. I think we just do more grain. Let's just do that. And then, you know, we can't, we can't fit you there. Let's put you in there, move you over, and then put you in there again, move you over. And then put that there, and I'm guessing we'll put some more workers in there. Perfect. There's a whole bunch of workers. Just work this field to the bone. <laughs> Do the thing, guys. All right, so excellent. They'll plant that. They'll be fine. We'll get a whole bunch of grain out of that. We'll need to put some more... Uh, I, need, I need to put a grain, um, grain storage system over here as well. So they don't have to walk so far to store the stuff. So if we put that there, perfect. They'll store the grain there. The problem is, of course, it's the rats. 
Yeah, so we'll get, we'll have some rat problems there later on. That might be of an issue. But yeah, we'll have to figure it out. <laughs> I also need more smokers, I think. Right now, this thing has already got 100 uh, meat in storage. It produced 300 last year. I think I need more meat storage. I uh, mean smokers. So I'm going to go ahead and put another meat smoker over on this side. I have um, I have a meat smoker here, I think. Yeah. That one did 140 smoked meat. It's got 36 in storage. Not much. But I think that's okay. What do you have over here? Do you have some meat storage over here? No, you don't. So we could go ahead and put a meat smoker here too. Hunting cabin is doing okay. I think it's, it's, I'm not quite sure what it's hunting, what this person is hunting. Are you hunting anything at all? There's supposed to be boar around here. I don't see any more deer. Um, we'll just leave this cabin alone. I don't think they actually produce that much food. I mean, last year, 120 meat. That's good, but it's not... I don't see that much meat on this side. To be honest, I don't see that much. The village has been cured. Well, that's great. I don't see anything on this side. Okay, let's leave it alone. I, there's a whole bunch of deer here, so we'll probably have to hunt here. All right, let's see. Do we do we have a hunter cabin over here on this side? We do. We have a hunter cabin over there. And I think we have another hunting cabin over on up here as well. Yeah, hunting meat. And I want them to transfer that meat to a smoker down here. So food production. Um, this is a smokehouse. Yes, smokehouse. Let's put a smokehouse right there. All right, so excellent. So now those hunters there and the hunters over here. Where are they? That's <laughs> pretty far. Oh, ships, we have a we have a rat in the root cellar. We already have a rat in the root cellar. Eh, great. Temporary shelter. All right, so that's all good. The hunter cabin. What are you hunting? Where where are you hunting exactly? I'm just kind of curious. I don't see any deer here, but it does seem they do seem to be kind of hunting something because they they managed to get 180 meat. All right, well, I... Mm, oh, there's some deer over here. Oh, yeah, that's definitely there. So let's move the interest for the hunter cabin over to here. Get those deer. Thank you, deer. And then they can transfer... St okay, set grazing area will be good. Let's set the grazing area... Uh, we already have a grazing area down here. We can set this area as double. So now we have that area for grazing, and you also have that area for grazing. So double up. Perfect. So we just need to get some cows in here. So how many cows do you have? You have seven cows. I'm going to transfer some cows. So I'm going to transfer three cows. Confirm. To not you, not you, not you. Yes, you. Confirm. So we'll get some cows from this barn. To transfer over there. Shouldn't change anything because those cows are used to being uh, over there. <laughs> So that should be fine. All right, what do you have here? We have, this is a soap house. I don't really need more soap, so I'm happy with that. We have some compost to place down. So I'm gonna put some compost there, add some more compost here, add some more compost there, perfect. All right, we'll get some compost distributed and that should be good. Uh, let's see, do we have all of this? Um, somebody fractured a bone, it's too bad for them. Everything seems to be repaired over here. Work areas are empty. Let's look at you. All right, so this is a hunter cabin that doesn't have anything to hunt anymore. There's, there's deer right there. Why can't you just go over there and hunt those deer? All right, just go hunt those deer. Perfect. Do that. <laughs> All right, so that's it. We do, a villager has died, another one. Oh, that's too bad. We are running close to the 719. We just passed 700 villagers. So we are growing, which is good. Firewood splitter. And I think we're doing okay. Fletching building. 
We just need to get a grip on the rats. I mean, we we managed to secure the village with all of our towers and soldiers and so on. So we're doing a good job there. Um, I need to might improve this area a little bit more so we get a little bit more defensive, like like over there, for instance. But I think everything else seems to be going quite well. So um, in the next episode, I think what we should do is well, we need more coopers. That's for sure. So put some more people in there. I think in the next v episode, we need to focus our attention on uh, improving the, um, the, the, the walkthrough so that we don't have to walk so far from place to place. So right now, for instance, they seem to be... Yeah, they have a lot of stuff. Look at that. They have so many tools and so many... Uh, bu this building storage is full. It needs to be... It needs to transfer the stuff into the village, right? So that's because they have to walk so much. But you can see that the yeah, so the travel time is just so incredibly high. So we need to improve that. Look at this travel time is 71%. They're just traveling all the time. They're not doing anything. They're not producing anything. Well, they're producing a lot, but they're not producing <laughs> what I need them to do because they have to constantly travel around. So we have to improve that. So we'll be looking into that in the next episode. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't leave a dislike, it's fine. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a oh, what are you? What is it? What's in your head? You need. Armor? Is that looking? The village has no armor. The village has no armor? Seriously? We don't have any armor? I thought we had uh, hauberks. Why, why aren't you looking at the hauberks? We also have shields. Nobody seems to be carrying a shield. We have hauberks. We have shields. We have weapons. What are you complaining about? Oh, somebody died over here. What's this? The pub is unoccupied. No! We need to have occupied pubs at all times. And you are missing somebody. Okay, well, that's, that's a shame. So we'll put something in there. And the dirt road. Yeah, we'll just we'll get those we'll get all the roads the the important roads. We'll get them upgraded so that people can run a bit faster from place to place. Anyways, that's us for today. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great afternoon.